My name is Bipin Adhikari. I'm a research physician and a social scientist. I work at uh, malaria department of Mahido Luxor Tropical Medicine Research Unit in Bangkok. Most of my research are around social aspects of infectious diseases, mostly around malaria. And uh, the recent works that I've done are around the community engagement, designing community engagement, and executing it around a community-based anti-malarial mass administration. That was one of the recent projects we did in Laos. And uh, I'm also involved in some other uh, research projects which are mostly community-based in Cambodia, and one in Tanzania and the other one in Bangladesh. There are many questions uh, related to community engagement, mostly around, since community engagement is very complex undertaking, uh, the fundamental stereotypes around community engagement that it is necessary to facilitate the research is an understatement in my opinion, because it's not just to facilitate the research, but it is to conduct the ethical research. Uh, ethical meaning in, you know, community engagement can help understand the vulnerabilities of the population, and it serves the interest of community members not just researchers, and it helps us to find out the agendas, priorities, and concerns of community members. So these are the questions often overlooked, or even if they are emphasized, not adequately emphasized, I guess. The other questions are related to evaluating community engagement itself, how it works in different contexts, and what are the processes and mechanisms, uh, you know, which helps to, uh, you know, get the outcomes or uh, make changes in the interventions or the ethical conduct of research. A lo lot of ways in which my work makes difference. As you know, community engagement is essentially a very translational research, a very fundamental and integral aspect of all the uh, health research, including interventions and trials. Uh, with community engagement, we create a platform between researchers and community members. So it's directly related to translational aspects of the trials or the research, which offers a sort of platform for community voices to be heard, their priorities to be heard, their agendas, concerns. At the same time, it offers researchers and uh, in general, community engagement personnel to explain the agendas as well. Aspirational goals of community engagement are to set the agendas and priorities based on what community members think are important for them, uh, which may be hard to reconcile when institutional and you know, researchers and funders' priorities are different to community members. So my research obviously helps to ensure that community members' interests are articulated or prioritize, it is extremely essential if we want to do ethical research, if we want to save resources, if we want to prevent wasting of resources. You've heard from different clinical trials in different parts of the world how clinical trials, you know, experience failure because of lack of community engagement or thorough community engagement. And you've recently seen the COVID-19 pandemic where vaccine was not a problem availability of vaccine was not a problem, but coverage became still very low, especially in high-income countries, USA, UK, France, for example. So that already explains why community engagement is really essential, why it is necessary to hear the voice of community members, what are their concerns. It is extremely essential. In my personal opinion, community engagement should be understood as an integral part of the health research. And we want to move from top-up approach to bottom-up approach in future. Although there are challenges. For example, inherent challenges are the power differences between researchers, funders, institutions, and the community members. We, we question whether community members can really authentically raise their voices because there are inherent power differences. So these are the you know, areas where we need more investment uh, to ensure there is authentic dialogue between community members and researchers. Hopefully, uh, the power differences are mitigated in future. There are aspirational goals, 
but we want to make sure that community members' priorities are aligned with researchers in future.